like me. Man, dum, dum, day. My first introduction into this Cambodian music scene happened in 2011. And it first came from listening to the music of Dengue Fever, which is a contemporary LA band that is inspired by the actual, you know, Cambodian oldies of the 60s and 70s. So the music of Ross Seri Sotia, Sinsis Lamuth, Penron, Ya Alarong. Um, I first heard them in 2011 at a music festival in San Diego. And as soon as I heard them play, I was just completely floored by what I heard, that it immediately sounded so inviting and familiar, but wildly different all at the same time. And I went home and researched where they come from, where their music came from. And I went down this rabbit hole of learning about all these incredible Cambodian musicians um, that I'd never heard about. And I think from that experience, I said, there's a story here, you know, that really is dying to be told. I was really seeking a way to tell that story that concentrated on the music, but also the survivors, um, you know, of the, of this tragedy and finding a way to tell the story with as much like joy and light and and really familial warmth as I could. To me, there's like nothing more, there's really nothing more American than the story of immigrants and the story of, you know, one, one generation, like the younger generation, trying to understand an older generation who might've come here, um, you know, under under very difficult circumstances um, or, you know, has their own particular journey for like trying to fit in into American culture, you know, in a way like her journey visiting Cambodia is is this desire to understand something more of more of her father. I think it's a particular thrill to bring this show, which is about many things. It's about a family. It's about history, um, and it's it's about this incredible Cambodian rock scene of the 60s and 70s. It's such a fitting story to bring to Lowell, which, as you all know, has the second largest Cambodian-American population in the country. Oh.